Hello everybody, this is Mark Horvath from InvisiblePeople.tv, otherwise known as Hardly Normal on Twitter. And first I need to thank Gary and Pepsi. I'm truly honored uh, to be selected for this and I want to thank all of you for even thinking about me. Well, InvisiblePeople.tv, some people think it's a video blog, but it's really not. It's a conversation. It's a conversation that has affected real change around the country. Housing programs have been started. Feeding programs have been started. Homeless kids that didn't have shoes now have shoes. Uh, one farmer donated 40 acres of land uh, because of a lost summer's tour where they're uh, planting food uh, to feed low-income families and so on and so on. And I can keep on telling you these conversations or these great things that are happening. We have a perfect storm coming. Seven million people, seven million people were laid off last year. We're gonna start seeing the effects of that. And we all see homeless people. We see that guy on the street corner with the cardboard sign and they're the very visible homeless, but they're not the real story of homeless. The fastest growing demographic in homelessness is young children. HUD, you know, urban planning, housing, urban planning and development in 2008 released it in suburbia, 56% increase in two parent family homelessness. That was last year. This year, it's, it's gonna be even worse. And I don't wanna say that as a negative, even though it is a negative because I'm a glass half full thinker because as the economy gets worse, we have to get better. And that's what InvisiblePeople.tv is all about. It's really a conversation about how we can help our neighbors because there's no money anymore. Governments are broke, nonprofits don't have donations. You don't wanna pay any more taxes. I don't wanna pay any more taxes. So we need to start just thinking about how we take care of each other. In a way, get back to depression ethics, if you will. So InvisiblePeople.tv will continue to do what it's doing. I just got back from Alaska. Next trip will be Wilmington, uh, Ohio, where 75% of the town were laid off. But some really cool things are going to happen. And why this is such a good um, investment. Um, this year, I'm going to start a platform, an educational platform, for people that are in the libraries, uh, homeless or close to homeless, where they can learn um, how to blog, they can learn how to use social media, they can learn job hunting on Craigslist and, and find rooms for rent, um, and all these uh, tools that we use and we think are very common, um, so that they have them at their hand because you don't need to hear another Mark Horvath. You don't need to hear an expert, another expert on homelessness. You need to hear that single mom who's struggling. She's living in a, in a, a cockroach infested hotel. Um, basically that's homelessness and she's going to the library and she needs some answers. Well, that's who we need to empower. That's the voice that we need to empower. So the, the money from this grant will go to continue what we're already doing. We're impacting change all around the country and increase the educational aspect of not only homeless services and the public, but homeless people themselves to affect even more change. So thank you, thank you very much for thinking about me. Um, I'm, I'm truly honored and um, I thank you for your vote.